Hi, how are you? My name is Pete and in this quick video I'm going to show you everything you need to know about mods in Arc Ascended. Now before we start I just want to mention real quick that at the very end of the video I will have a very important warning about using the mods and you don't want to miss it. So installing the mods in Arc Ascended is a little bit different than Arc Survival Evolved. When you're in the main menu you press the start and you want to go to your mods list. Now here is all the mods available right now, as you can see by the time of recording we have 52 pages of mods, but I'm sure it's gonna be plenty more to come. And you can divide them by different categories like weapons, creatures, maps, outfits, structures and so on. You can also sort them by featured, release date, total installs and last updated. Now the total installs is usually the mods that are the most popular. As you can see, this one here has 1.2 million downloads so far. So in order to use any of those mods, you click the mod that you're interested in. You have all the kinds of information here, like what's the total download number, date created, last updated, file size, and what mod version it is. You also have a small description. Now, depending on the mod, it could be small description, it could be very large description. Also make sure that you read the description because Arc is still at the very early stages and a lot of mods will be there just for testing. And it will usually say in the description, do not download, it's just for testing. So once you find the mod that you're interested in, you have an install button at the top right hand corner here and you just click it. Now, once the mod is, mod is installed, you can go back and go to your installed mods. But as you can see, the mod that I just downloaded, it's not here. We only have one page and that mod is not visible here. That's just a bug. And the way around it is go back out of it, go back to the main menu and just go back in. And now, as you can see, we have two pages and that's the mod we just installed. Now, the mod is not active yet, so you need to activate it. So you go to your create game and you go to your mod settings. As you can see, active mods, the list is empty here. And here's the list of all the available mods. And the one we just downloaded is at the very bottom. Now, in order to activate it, you need to click on it and then click activate mod. And if you go back to active mods list, as you can see, it's just right here. The one exception to that is if you download the full map, well, then you have to activate it from available mods here, but the map will actually show up over here in case you want to start playing on it. So once you activated all the mods that you're interested in, all you gotta do is just start the game. Now I'm gonna go into the creative mod just to show you that mod is there. And once you go to your engrams and type in spyglass, as you can see, that's the spyglass that we just installed. That's the crafting requirements for it. And if I go into my inventory and type in spyglass again, as you can see, that's the modded version of the spyglass. Now one is the weapon, one is consumable. So we want the weapon one and you go to your inventory and there it is. That's how it works. So if you're ever tired for whatever reason of using the mod or you just don't like how it looks or works, you can go back to create a game, go to your mod settings. You can either deactivate the mod, but if you don't like it and you want to get rid of it completely, you need to back out of it, go to your mods list, go to your installed mods, find a mod that you don't want to use anymore, click on it and just click on that on install button and just click continue. Now, obviously in most cases, if you uninstall the mod, all the items that mod was giving you in the game will disappear. And that brings me to the warning that I said I have at the beginning of the video. If you ever see that message on the top right hand corner of the screen, do not start the game. Now in Ark Survivor Evolved, it used to be another warning step that will warn you not to start the game until the mods finish updating. However, here, for now, you can just go into your game while the mods are updating. And if you're really unlucky, everything that mods gives you, you can just lose. So if the mod gives you new dinos, new weapons, new armor, whatever it is, you go into your game while it's updating, you won't have any of those items most of the time. And backing out of the game and letting the mod updating and then going back into the game won't unfortunately fix that problem. So you need to pay attention and whenever you see updating mods message, 
just let them update before you start the game. Now, I hope you find this video useful. If you did, please leave a like and consider subscribing. And I'll see you next one. Thank you.